Dragon Ball Z is the most influential anime to ever exist. Yes, no other anime has caused a revolutionary change in anime. From characters, sagas, transformations, and music, Dragon Ball Z has changed everything. Hello, my name is Bugsy and today I will be providing how Dragon Ball Z changed anime forever. If you're new to the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to watch these videos two days early, make sure to become a member of the channel. Make sure to grab your snacks, relax, kick your feet up, and get ready to hear how Dragon Ball Z changed anime forever. One of the most noticeable feats that Dragon Ball Z has influenced are transformations. Goku going Super Saiyan during dynamic arc changed anime forever. Something we have never seen in anime up until this point. Goku watches his best friend getting launched into the air, begging for his life, and ultimately blowing up into hundreds of pieces. This causes Goku to become blinded with rage we have never seen before, and he did it. He turns into the Super Saiyan of legend. His eyes turn blue, his hair turns into a bleach blonde color, and his body mass increases. Everyone we see is shocked and does not know what they are looking at. Not just the characters in the anime, but to the viewer watching this for the first time. What has happened to Goku? Is this the same Goku that we know? Everyone's reaction to this is utterly shocking. We see how this new transformation gives Goku the upper hand in his battle with Frieza and how he changed. He is no longer fighting to see if he is the strongest. No, he is fighting to kill him and to make him suffer. We later see Trunks, Vegeta, and Gohan achieve this ultimate form that Goku achieved. The Super Saiyan transformation became the blueprint for other animes to become influenced by. Whether it is Bleach with Ichigo's multiple forms, Luffy turning into Joy Boy, and Naruto turning into the Nine-Tailed Beast. We see in many animes that transformations can be earned in multiple ways. Hard work, emotions, or even given to you by other methods. <clears throat> um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Anyways, one of the biggest problems that we have come from the Super Saiyan transformation is that many fans have tried to find moments that rival it or surpass it. An example would be when Luffy achieved Joy Boy. Many fans were saying that Joy Boy was more iconic than Super Saiyan. Opinions are mixed regarding an answer. I believe that Super Saiyan is more iconic because number one, it happened first, and number two, it probably inspired the Joy Boy transformation because during the time, Joy Boy was very much compared to Ultra Instinct. Transformations have to be meaningful and earned for it to stick with the audience. Dragon Ball Super kind of went away with that mentality and it became more about selling figures. Perfect example, Evolve Super Saiyan Blue Super Saiyan which Vegeta got during a tournament of power and absolutely nothing except defeat Toppo and was utterly useless. Or when the Saiyans from Universe 6 achieved Super Saiyan from a tingle in their back. Yes, to this day, I have not gone over that and still believe it is a poor reason to give such an important transformation. Also, when we did see Kale achieve the legendary Super Saiyan transformation, I thought that was also very lame and it was exactly Z Broly except they didn't. You know what, we're not even going to get into that, let's get back to the video. Simply put, it was a transformation that had to happen since Goku achieved Ultra Instinct and this is in relation to Evolve Super Saiyan Blue Super Saiyan. Regardless, transformations are one of the most influential aspects that Dragon Ball Z created which has influenced the rest of the genre. Dragon Ball Z has some of the best choreographed fights in all of anime. Every single fight is fast and impactful. From a viewer's standpoint, there are multiple times when you can feel the punch or action through the screen. One thing that Akira Toriyama and the animation teams did an excellent job with is having us, the viewers, see the fights through the eyes of the characters. When we first see the Saiyans invade Earth and Gohan is struggling watching Yamcha and the Cybermen fight, they are moving so fast it looks like lines on a piece of paper. An example of feeling action through the screen would be from the Saiyan saga between Raditz and Gohan. When Gohan headbutted Raditz, we can see and feel the damage that was done to him. The impact frames that are shown in the manga and anime are done amazingly. We see the impact between Goku and Piccolo versus Raditz, but they are nowhere near as aggressive as when Gohan attacks. While the fight scenes have been known to take an ungodly amount of episodes, all of them are done so well. The fights never seem sluggish or even slow, which makes it amazing to look at. Along with fantastic animation, Dragon Ball Z fights are some of the best. This has remained consistent from OG Dragon Ball all the way through Dragon Ball Z and even some parts of Dragon Ball Super. Even the smallest fights were done phenomenally. Also, just to throw this in about Dragon Ball Z, the Android 17 vs Piccolo fight is not underrated because everybody and their mom has said how that fight is underrated. 
Therefore, it cannot be underrated. Even though the smallest fights are done phenomenally, we see how well it looks when it comes to key blasts and even beam struggles in the anime. The screen shaking, the music, the zoom in effects, the shock on the character's face amplify the moments tremendously. Vegeta's first final flash is a perfect example of a final move being epic. Trunks, Krillin, and Cell both look shocked and do not know what is going to happen. The screen is shaking violently, Hell's Bell is playing in the background, and we hear Vegeta's gritty voice yell final flash. This is done in a lot of animes and could definitely be inspired from Dragon Ball Z. There are many American movies that have been inspired by action sequences from Dragon Ball Z. Some of the Rocky movies have certain fight scenes from Dragon Ball Z implemented. Even the iconic Kamehameha is seen in multiple animes, video games, and movie scenes because of how legendary it is. Many older animes and modern animes have done an excellent job with impact frames and involving the fight scene. There are some people who hate when a character gives a monologue during a fight scene. However, that is what leads to the climax. An example is Vegeta. Whenever Vegeta gives an epic speech, then does a final flash or a gallic gun, it adds an extra level of intensity. Ideally, this would be considered the rising action leading up to the climax. A perfect example of motivational speech leading to an incredible fight is Attack on Titan. Erwin gave one of the greatest anime speeches of all time and led the charge against the Beast Titan. The speech gave the fight scene so much more intensity and epicness that without the speech may not have had. Akira Toriyama has done an excellent job of character arcs in Dragon Ball Z that have transcended through time. Vegeta has and will always be a character with one of the greatest character arcs of all time. Many characters in anime go through an evil to hero pipeline. A popular main character that does not go through an evil to hero pipeline is Spike Spiegel. Spike Spiegel is one of the coolest main characters simply based on his character. Cool, nonchalant, badass, and cool one-liners. He does not have the stereotypical shonen protagonist arc and his story ends tragically. The shonen protagonist story arc can be annoying since it is common. However, depending on the character, it makes it very surprising. I talk about Vegeta a lot because his character arc was truly unexpected. Yes, I do know that Vegeta is now a protagonist, but when he was introduced into the anime, he was considered a villain, ideally, not even an anti-hero. He was strictly a villain. I made a video explaining how Vegeta is the greatest anti-hero of all time. Highly recommend you check it out. Even our protagonists go through character arcs which elevate their character. Goku is one of the few MCs outside of the big three MCs, Luffy and Naruto, who are able to have people gravitate towards him. One of the main reasons I believe Luffy is one of the best MCs is because of how he elevates his crew and they elevate him. Luffy's vibrant personality and willingness to sacrifice for his crew brings everyone together. We see how with every straw hat he meets, he is able to provide for their goals and dreams as they are able to provide for his, which is to be the king of all pirates. Goku is similar in the sense that he tries to see the best out of everyone and treat them with respect. During the Boo saga, we see how Goku's personality ended up being pivotal in Vegeta's character. Vegeta, the prince of all Saiyans, was willing to die permanently to give Goku enough time to charge up his energy. Even during the infamous Majin Vegeta vs Goku fight, we see that Goku really doesn't believe that Vegeta is truly bad. He just knows that he's kind of angry and upset about how everything has gone on in his life. And obviously we do see how Vegeta does change near the end of that Boo saga where we do see Fat Boo and he's willing to blow himself up. And he infamously says, Trunks, Bulma, I do this for you. And yes, even for you, Kakarot. He even calls Goku the best and gives a short monologue on how Goku changed him and how he finally understands him. We see how Goku enjoys fighting strong opponents, which is a key word here. I say opponents because he never truly views them as enemies unless proven otherwise. Yamcha, Par, Chatsu, Tien, Piccolo, Vegeta, all of these characters were considered opponents and eventually became friends of Goku. A beautiful aspect of Dragon Ball Z in some anime is finishing the anime and looking back at the development of certain characters. Yes, we all talk about Vegeta, but let's talk about Goku. Goku has had a phenomenal character arc since his origin in Dragon Ball. Seeing Goku go from a young naive boy into a mature man with a family is fantastic. Even though he has died on multiple occasions, he has always died for valid reasons. The crazy part is, Goku has always been willing to sacrifice himself for his friends which we see during the Cell Saga and even when Raditz arrives. Yes, I know Dragon Ball Z fans dislike Gohan's character development and feel like he's regressed, but I disagree and might end up making a video regarding him. Let me know if you like a video about 
Son Gohan. Expanding on the character development in Dragon Ball Z, let's talk about the music that elevates the character and the anime as a whole. The original Dragon Ball Z score was done by Shinsuke Kikuchi, which was absolutely brilliant. While many Americans loved the Bruce Falconer score, which we soon learned he plagiarized much of the music and only had a few scores that are good, Kikuchi's scores has transcended through time. R.P. Shinsuke Kikuchi, may he rest in paradise with Akira Toriyama. Kikuchi Sensei did a fantastic job at elevating every scene in Dragon Ball Z. Whether it was a fighting scene or a laid back scene, the music fit the mood perfectly. While many people, especially Americans, love Cell's theme, Vegeta's Hell's Bell's theme, and many other themes, both versions serve a great purpose. Hearing the Japanese version of Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Transformation is just as epic as the English version. While the English version gives me goosebumps and chills, the Japanese version gets me excited to see the pain that Gohan is going to put on Cell. Another theme that I want to talk about is Vegeta's Hell's Bell's theme. The theme gives Vegeta a menacing aura. You immediately get this feeling of evil surrounding the air, mainly due to the speech that follows when the theme is played. The viewer immediately knows that Vegeta is going to give an epic speech or have an epic 5 minutes before he gets foiled like an omelette. Many animes have themes for their main characters or for their fight scenes. Samurai Champloo and Cowboy Bebop are perfect examples of animes which mastered their score. Samurai Champloo's score, composed by Fat John, Force of Nature, and Nujibes, may he rest in peace, and Cowboy Bebop, which was composed by Yoko Kono and Seabos. The element of jazz and hip hop into a samurai type anime and a space cowboy is the perfect combination. When the conversation of Samurai Champloo and Cowboy Bebop is brought up, many people immediately bring up the score as a reason to watch the anime, which is important for non-anime fans because it finds a common ground on why to watch the anime. With the combination of great score plus animation and story, it equals a new anime fan. Dragon Ball Z has the same effect when showing certain scenes from the anime. No matter if you're a fan of this show or not, everyone gets excited once they hear Super Saiyan 2 Gohan's theme, Cell's theme, or Vegeta's theme. Music is important to the anime, and Dragon Ball Z did a phenomenal score, which in my opinion, influenced later animes to focus on the score and create amazing character theme music. To conclude, I believe that Dragon Ball Z has a positive effect on the world of anime. Dragon Ball Z will always be considered the grandfather of the big three. Without Dragon Ball Z, the big three would not exist and many of your favorite animes would more than likely not exist. Do I believe that every anime has some influence from Dragon Ball Z? Yes, I genuinely do. Am I saying that Dragon Ball Z is the best anime to exist? Yes it is. It is my favorite. However, it probably is not for a majority of people. But to sit and say that Dragon Ball Z did not influence the world of anime is incorrect. Regardless if you find Dragon Ball Z to be peak fiction or possibly one of the more overrated animes, the respect for the anime must be there. Dragon Ball Z not only impacted the world of anime, but the world outside of it. Many people started their content creation journey, workout journey, and followed their goals because of this anime. In fact, when you see a lot of people who go to the gym and wear anime clothes, or just people in general who go to the gym, if they do watch anime, they will all tell you that it is because of Goku. Dragon Ball Z changed my life, not just from an anime perspective, but from a real world perspective as well. Let me know in the comment section if you believe that Dragon Ball Z changed anime. If not, do you think there is another anime that has impacted the genre? Bleach? One Piece? Or even Naruto? My name is Bugsy and I hope you enjoyed the video and had a fantastic day. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Peace out.